All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our part two of our Rail Europe, um, learning about the train and transit system in Europe. Uh, we're 50% the way done. So again, congratulations. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday. Uh, appreciate it. I know it was a pop-up one, but um, we want to get her done, right? So um, again, I appreciate you guys joining me. And then um, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I think, are we on Switzerland now? Did we do, we did SNC up, correct? We did Switzerland. Okay. So let's, we did Switzerland too. So yes. we're on your rail. Yes. Is that where everybody is? Okay. That's why it says start and restart. Okay. Ooh, sorry. I haven't had my coffee. <laughs> All right. So let's get started here. Hold on. Let me make sure my sound. All right, everybody good? So Euro Rail Overview. So welcome to Europe. If your clients are traveling to Europe and want the maximum flexibility to see multiple countries on one trip, then you are certainly in the right place. On the next pages, you will learn everything you need to know about your rail pass so that you can help your clients enjoy a seamless, cost-effective, relaxing journey exploring Europe by rail. A Euro Rail Pass is an all-in-one train ticket that gives your clients flexible access to most trains across Europe. That's more than 40,000 destinations in 33 countries. Unlike traditional train tickets with your rail travelers can go wherever they want, whenever they want. Some trains do require reservations, but most trains can be boarded as easily as flashing a pass. Missed a train or had a change of plans? No problem. They can simply hop on the next one and enjoy the ride. At the end of this course, you'll have full understanding of the different types of Eurorail passes available, as well as everything your client needs to know about reservations, activation, and boarding. Your rail passes are also loaded with extra benefits and perks. You'll learn all about that here too. Are you ready to ride? Read on to discover all you need to know about booking your clients with Eurorail. Training tip. I don't see a training tip on here. There we go. All right. So the mobile rail pass overview. Okay. Your rail pass is the only ticket your client needs to explore more than 40,000 destinations traveling at their own pace, hopping on and off they, they desire. And now they don't even need a paper ticket to ride. That's right. Discovering Europe just got even easier with your rail's new mobile pass. Mm -hmm. What exactly is a mobile pass? A mobile pass is a paperless ticket that can be added instantly to your client's phone by downloading the free app for iOS or Android. Uh, clients can plan their journey, keep track of trips, show mobile day tickets straight from their device with a mobile pass on the Rail Planner app. No need to wait for delivery. They can load their mobile pass into the app as soon as you make their bookings. No more worried clients obsessing over losing their pass. Now it will always be with them, ready at a moment's notice to hop forward their next adventure. Please also note that if a mobile phone gets lost or stolen, we can unregister that device and allow the customer to redeem his pass on another phone. Traveling with a mobile pass, clients can use the app planner to search for journeys they want to take, then tap to save them the, um, to my trip where they will see an overview of their travel plans. When they're ready to take a train, they'll tap to add that journey to their pass and it will appear on their ticket in My Pass, ready for inspection on board. No more paperwork to complete or tickets to print. 
Why recommend a mobile pass? Well, they can buy it travel um, by now and travel up to 11 months later. No need to choose a start date until the moment clients um, are ready to travel. Free instant delivery, add it straight to the app and then free replacement pass if they lose their phone. All right, first quiz. What are the advantages of the new Eurorail mobile pass? No more paperwork, free app, mobile ticket scan, and free replacement. All the above. That one's easy. All right, overview. So this is the perfect pass for your clients who love to explore the Euro, Euro, Eurorail global pass, which is now available as a mobile pass, allows visitors to travel extensively throughout the national railways at the participating 33 countries. Um, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Great Britain, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Netherlands, North Macedonia. Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and Turkey. All right. The Eurail Global Pass also offers discounts for youth travelers under 28 years of age and for seniors 60 years of age and over. And up to two children, four to 11, ride for free with each adult traveler. That's nice. Two, two kids for one adult. That's really good. Um, first and second class accommodations, continuous pass for 15 to 22 days or a one, two or three month flexa pass for four, five or seven days within a one month period or 10 or 15 days, thank you, within a two month period. Tap the icon on the right to open the URL product brochure. All right. So again, if you're saving this stuff, you know, or binder or something, um, you can go ahead and save this to that. Okay. So as you see, it's a, a long document. Okay. All right. True or false. The Your Rail Global Pass also offers discounts for kids um, and travelers and up to two get to ride for free. That is true. Correct. All right, rail pass overview, one country pass. This is a pass for travelers who prefer to dig deep into one country. No better way to venture beyond some of the more popular destinations and discover Europe's lesser known jewels. A Euro rail one country pass provides extensive rail travel on any one of the following countries, national rail networks. And so again, all these countries, cities, uh, whatever you call it, <laughs> available within paper ticket only. Again, you can choose from first or second class accommodations, three, four, five, six, or eight days within a one month period. Uh, specific validities for your rail France mobile pass and your rail Germany mobile pass. Discounts for youth, senior, and up to two children ride for free with each adult traveler. A bonus overview, traveling with your rail saves your clients money, not only on train travel. As the proud owner of your rail pass, they can take advantage of hundreds of benefits and price reductions all over Europe, like great discounts on European ferry routes, uh, boat tours, hotel rooms, museum tickets, and much more. In Switzerland, your rail travelers need only to pay a small reservation fee to ride on the famous Bernina Glacier Express and Golden Pass Scenic Rail routes. Travelers can also get discounts on city cards with their Euro Rail Pass, plus many more bonuses, such as price reductions for SIM cards, Wi Fi access, and travel guides, discounted or free access to public transport in many cities, price reductions for sightseeing tours, attractions, and bike rentals. Discounts on select hotels, hostels, restaurants, luggage, souvenir shopping, and then or shipping, souvenir shipping, free access to first um, select first class lounges with first class pass. An insider tip, typically clients can book a deal on site by showing their Eurail pass through some bonuses like ferry journeys uh, require booking in advance. To access a ferry offer when using Flexa Eurail Pass, clients must enter the dates of the travel on the past travel calendar. 
When traveling on a continuous Euro Rail Pass, clients can take advantage of all the benefits of any on any date that the Euro Rail Pass is valid. All right, which of the following is not a perk of the Euro Rail Pass? Discounts on accommodations, price reduction on sightseeing attractions, free drinks on the train, and discounted free. I would discounts. probably say free drink. I think it's discounts on select accommodations. Accommodations? I think so. That's it. Yep. All right, guys. How to use the reservations. If your clients have a rail pass, they may or may not need reservations depending on the type of train and whether or not they want to keep a strict schedule or maintain flexibility. Reservation gives clients peace of mind as they know they are guaranteed a seat. High-speed trains, overnight trains, as well as international scenic trains require reservations. Reservations guarantee clients a seat on, on or berth on a specific train departing on a specific date at a specific time. Children 4 to 11 traveling free on a child pass and with an adult will need to purchase a reservation for trains that require reservations. Sometimes reservations are optional, but it's often worth um, making a reservation so your clients have a confirmed seat, especially when traveling in a group to ensure individuals can sit together. Not all trains have the option to reserve seats in advance. Non-reservable trains tend to be more local or regional and can be a great way to travel to and experience the travel of the smaller towns of Europe. Reservations costs are not included in the Eurorail Pass. The price of the fee can differ depending on the train and network. Typically, it is possible to make a reservation up to three months in advance. Okay, so how do you use it? How do you activate it? Don't forget to tell your clients to activate their pass before they depart, as well as fill in all their details before they board each train, meaning creating a day ticket with the journey journeys they are taking. Each pass must be activated within 11 months of issuing date. Passes can be activated on the app using the mobile pass. Activation is, of course, always free. This process is easy with the new mobile pass. Clients will follow the instructions in their order confirmation email to add their pass to the app, activate it so it's ready to travel. They can do steps at once or add the pass to the app and activate it later. It's up to them. All right, which of the following is not true about reservations? They are required for all rail pass holders. Reservation fee may include extra benefits. High-speed trains, overnight trains require reservations. And passengers don't have a confirmed seat on a scheduled train without a reservation. They are required for all rail pass holders, I do believe. That is correct. So that is not true, okay? All right, thank you very much. And how to use them. So how to pick the best rail pass. Figuring out which pass is right for your client is crucial. Help determine which pass will suit them both, both best. Blah. Here are questions to ask. Ask your client where they would like to travel. Collect the countries your clients would like to visit in Europe. Decide whether they need to travel with a global or a one country pass. Tap the icon on the right to view the map. Okay, so then you can kind of view the map or go over it with them. Oh, that's that's really easy to, to decipher, right? <laughs> All right. Ask your client for how many days they expect to travel. Select the pass validity <clears throat> that best suits their needs. For example, is it better for them to have five travel days within one month or one month of continuous travel? Find out who is traveling. Access the discounts to which your client is entitled. Children travel free, youth discount, or senior discount. And then find out when your client would like to travel. Passes can be purchased up to 11 months in advance. Congratulations, you have now completed um, the chapter for Eurorail. Now we're gonna learn about Euro, Eurostar. Marty, did you take any trains when you were in Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah, we took uh, the train from uh, London to Paris, and then we took the train from Paris to um, Amsterdam, and then in Paris we took the train to or to um, well the subway train or whatever to uh, Disney. 
Disney yeah. Paris. It goes directly straight right there. Disney is a drop off. It was pretty fun. Wow. Did you have any of those, like, really, um, some of those, like, sites where you went and all of the around the mountains, where they were, like, drop-offs and things like that? No, we didn't oh, see okay. of that. But, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, I, and again, maybe I just didn't pay attention. I think on one, I actually slept, but uh, <laughs> they were okay. two or three hour long train um, oh. rides, but it was fun. And again, um, my daughter turned 27. She did all the the planning for the trains and stuff. And so she was really good at that. And, you know, we didn't buy any powder. We just did the tap at the the thing. And um, so it was fun. It was really convenient. Everything went really smooth for us and stuff. So it was, it was very nice. So, um, you know, and, and even on the car or whatever, um, they have like a little cafe in there. You can go and, and buy, you know, like quiche and stuff. So that was kind of nice. Thank you. All right, so Eurostar Group Overview. So October 1st, European train travel is about to get bigger, better, and faster than ever. Uh, Talus and Eurostar have joined forces with the ambition of carrying 30 million passengers a year by 2030, creating the backbone of sustainable travel in Europe. A wider, unique network offers travel through the UK and France, Belgium and Netherlands and Germany. There are so many things to love about rail travel in Europe, and this module will show you why Eurostar should be the cornerstone of your client's journeys between UK and the continent. Eurostar Group carries passengers comfortably and efficiently between London, Paris, and Amsterdam, Brussels, and Cologne, and beyond. High-quality service at Eurostar Group stations and on board will be as friendly and welcoming as ever. However, the travel experience, including onboard and ticket uh, conditions, will be slightly different depending on the selected route. Seamless, sustainable, and enjoyable train travel for everyone is Eurostar Group's goal. Eurostar is deeply committed to providing customers with the most eco um, ecologically sustainable journeys and meeting their goal of reducing CO2 emissions. In fact, a passenger's carbon footprint from one London to Paris flight is the same as taking 14 Eurostar journeys. So speed, time, and value. Traveling at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, Eurostar Group operates direct trains year-round from Paris to Brussels and a dozen other stations in Belgium, the Netherlands, and the rhine ruhr region of Germany. While the Eurostar Group network is the obvious choice for efficient and comfortable travel between some of Europe's most popular cultural cities, it, it also provides an easy connection to other European rail networks like SNCF, DB, and S, and stations in several international airports like Charles de Gaulle in Paris, Brussels Airport, and Amsterdam Schiphol. Um, door to door. So did you know when traveling with Eurostar is actually faster than flying? Eurostar trains reach speeds of 186 miles per hour and travel through the channel tunnel in approximately 20 minutes. And since there are no lengthy airport transfers, there's no time wasted and passengers can arrive relaxed and ready to explore. In fact, the quickest Eurostar train journey Time from the center of London to the heart of Paris is just two hours and 45 minutes, including 30 minutes for security checks. But on average, a flight to Paris takes about four hours once you factor in all the stages of the journey. Luggage, no supplementary um, baggage fees are compared as compared to air travel and no fuel or parking costs associated with car travel. Eurostar allows two suitcases per adult, one um, plus one piece of hand luggage. And you can bring the suitcases if you're traveling in business premiere. Or you can bring three suitcases. So again, that was nice. You just bring all your luggage and throw it in there and it was really good. Uh, forget car rentals, traffic jams, airport transfers, and go for the space and comfort of being a rail passenger. Compared to plane sitting, there's more leg room on Eurostar trains, 37.2 inches versus 34 in an airplane seat. And of course, passengers have the flexibility to get up, walk around, grab a snack from the onboard bar buffet. Are you ready to hop aboard? By the end of this module, you'll know all the reasons why Eurostar is the premier choice for travel between the UK and mainland Europe. All right, so there's all the train routes that it takes you. Uh, speed is key when it comes to high-speed train travel, speed rail travel. 
and your star group delivers um and your star group delivers here are typical travel times and departures your clients will enjoy so again london to amsterdam three hours 41 minutes with four daily services london to brussels two hours seven di daily services london to paris it was only two hours and 15 minutes with 14 daily services london to disneyland two hours and 34 minutes um Paris to Brussels, one hour and 22 minutes with a whole lot of departures. Paris to Cologne, three hours, 14 minutes, five departures. Brussels to Amsterdam, one hour and 45 minutes, 47 minutes, up to 11 departures. And then Amsterdam to Paris, three hours and 17 minutes. All right. So what is the travel time from Paris to Brussels on board the Eurostar? One hour and 22 minutes. Thank you. Very good. All right. So these are the type of class of service. So if you're traveling between Belgium, France, and Netherlands, and Germany, renovation program of train interiors, implementing modern design and added features like expanded luggage, storage, and information screens in each coach was launched in 2022. Three classes of service are offered on board Eurostar spacious modern trains, premium comfort and standard. Traveling to and from London, three classes of service are offered on board Eurostar spacious modern trains. Business, standard, premium, and standard. You have premium class and business class. Come with extra large um, ergonomic seats with individual power sockets, lots of luggage space, three seats across the aisle rather than four. Premium business class offer complimentary e-press in several languages, ultra-fast Wi-Fi. For all but the short journeys, a meal or snack with free drinks is included in the price of the ticket. Lunch and dinner are served at the seat and include three course meat or fish meals, seasonal sides from the region. Vegetarian options are also available. Further amenities provide premium class or enhanced access to station lounges. Onboard attendants assist passengers in any way, including booking a taxi for their destination. Service only available on trains to Paris and Brussels. Comfort class, standard premium class passengers get all the space and style just without access to the lounge and at sea food service or personal attendant. Drink and snacks are available for purchase at the welcome bar. Standard class offers comfortable seats with stylish modern decor arranged in pairs across um, a central aisle. There are power sockets, free access to Wi-Fi, ample luggage space, both at the end of each car in the overhead racks, refreshments can be purchased. So that's what we did. We just did the standard class um, at the cafe. And then to save time, travelers can also buy metro, tramway, and bus tickets at the welcome bar for stress-free transfers upon arrival at the station. Special needs, dedicated wheelchair space on the train, and families will enjoy baby-friendly zone with changing tables and bottle warmers. Um, tap the icon to learn more about the onboarding catering services. So watch this real quick. All right, which feature or service is not included with premium class ticket? Narrow small seats. Narrow small seats, very good, that's correct. 
All right, now the fares, there's several fare types and booking options for TELUS tickets as well as many added benefits. So the premium fare for travelers demanding comfort and flexibility, exchangeable without fee until one hour after departure, fully refundable until one hour after departure. You've got the standard and comfort fare, exchangeable without a fee until seven days before departure, exchangeable with a fee of 15, um, is that pounds or euros? Which one is that? Is that pounds or euros? I don't know. It's euros. Euros, okay. From day six until one hour after departure, 100% refundable until seven days before departure, always non-refundable. Youth fair standard, this is a perfect way to provide extra value for your younger clients. So book up to 120 days early fare in advance of departure. The fares have the same conditions as the standard fare. When traveling on TALUS uh, trains, no need for your clients to check in prior to boarding. All they need is the e-ticket. Once on board, the train manager will check travel documents. Advise clients to arrive at the station 20 minutes before the train's departure time to locate the departure platform. Again, very quick and easy. You know, it's not like arriving two hours early for a plane. I mean, it was just like, bam, you're right there and get on. Uh, which fare is fully refundable until seven days before departure? All of them. All of them. It's correct. Again, flexibility. All right, booking tips. Seat reservation. Reservation is needed to board on board all Eurostar trains. Insider tip one, earlier you book, the better chance you'll get at a lower price. Tip two, uh, um, opt for off-peak TALUS trains when traveling on short notice. Off-peak trains are more affordable than ones running mornings and evenings, along with those running around the holidays, Friday and Sunday afternoons. Ticket gate. Travelers will make their way to the Eurostar departure area. At the gate, they can scan their ticket and walk through with their luggage. All travelers go through customs and security screening prior to boarding the train. Staff um, are available for assistance. How long before departure should I arrive? Standard and standard premium ticket holders, 120 minutes. Business premium ticket holders, 45 minutes. How long before departure does the gate close? Standard, standard premium ticket holders, 30 minutes. Business premium ticket holders, 10 minutes. Luggage, Eurostar stations are equipped with escalators, elevators, luggage carts to help make moving around easier while there are no weight limits on luggage nor restrictions on liquid brought on board. Each passenger must limit number of fat bags to two suitcases and one personal item or three suitcases in business premiere. Trains have dedicated space for storage, storing luggage, but for the easiest travel experience, it's best to keep it simple and packed light. For those travelers who prefer to not deal with their luggage at all, there is door-to-door -door luggage service available at an additional fee. All right, how many days in advance should you book a Eurostar ticket to get the best deal? As early as possible. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's correct. All right, so destinations, United Kingdom. So from the landmarks of London to the mountains of Wales, historic castles in Scotland and the stunning scenery of Lake District, uh, Eurostar uh, break helps everyone find their passion in Great Britain. Uh, many rail journeys um, from London to the rest of the UK can be made in under four hours. So checking out the Fringe Festival in Edinburgh scaling Mount Snowdon in Wales, or ambling along cobblestone streets in Cotswold um, has never been easier. City lovers will certainly find enough to see and do in London. From theater in the West End to London's burgeoning culinary scene, Eurostar will help you plan the perfect Britain break for your clients. London, Eurostar's hub station in London is St. Pancras International. From this central location, travelers can begin their journeys to Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, Cologne, and beyond. And if travelers are arriving in London, almost every part of the UK is easily accessible. Travelers based in London have the unique opportunity to experience Paris and Belgium in just one day with a return to their London hotel by dinner. They can visit the Eiffel Tower, stroll through Mosse d'Orsay, or sip a French wine over a leisurely lunch, 
at a sidewalk cafe. Or why not head to Brussels for those muscles and look at mannequin piss piece. Did you know the Chuno Channel Tunnel is 31.5 miles long, making it the world's longest undersea tunnel? That's the equivalent of 169 Eiffel Towers laid out top to bottom. That's pretty cool, right? It was first proposed in 1802, but construction wasn't started until 1988. It was completed in 1993, and Eurostar high-speed rail service began in 19, November of 1994. <clears throat> All right, how about going to France? So, vive la France. Especially easy for your clients to savor the sights, sounds, and tastes of France with Talus connections running throughout the country. The Talus network is centered in Paris, so the city of the lights should be the essential part of your client's Talus itinerary. The French capital beckons with an alluring mix of art, culture, culture, gastronomy, history, and architecture. So much to discover in Paris, including the must-sees, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the Notre Dame. But sometimes idling away an afternoon at um, Champs Elysees, watching chic Parisians pass by while sipping a glass of wine is just as pleasing. And that's what I told my daughter. That's kind of what I like best about Paris. It was so cool because they had so many little, just little cafes and the streets were like five different outlets where you could just sit there, have a glass of wine. They gave you like nuts or olives and you could just, just relax and watch people watch. It was just beautiful. Um, culture vultures um, should head up to Mont Montre for a taste of the local street art, an up-close view of Sacre Coeur, and perhaps a bit of the burlesque at the famous Moulin Rouge. When it comes to dining, visitors are spoilt for choice with charming bistros, world-renowned restaurants, local markets overflowing with the freshest meats, produce, and flowers. Paris by night is just as exciting as visiting it by day. After all, it is dubbed the City of Lights. At least one night should be spent under the twinkling lights of the Eiffel Tower. The French and Parisian icon is beautifully floodlighted at nightfall, and the view from the top is spectacular. Another exciting night stroll can be made around the vibrant Maras district, where visitors be sure to find a welcoming spot for a nightcap and perhaps a live music performance. Um, insider tip, the shorter queues at night let your clients experience this impressive vista at their own pace. Getting around Paris is simple with Metro. And Talus makes a day trip to beautiful Versailles easy as well. Public transportation, transportation tickets can be purchased on board in the Talus Welcome Bar at no extra cost or at the station through an electronic terminal. Tap the icon to learn um, the journey through the four seasons in Paris. Okay. So there you go. You can print that out for your um, advertisement. All right, destination Belgium, located in the very heart of Europe. Brussels is a charming royal capital, many hidden delights. From the modern style of the European district to the colorful charm of Morales and its antique shops, Brussels is undoubtedly a city of contrast. In this city, foodies will always find something to satisfy their appetite, gourmet restaurants, certainly, but also chip stands, Belgian food trucks, and famous chocolate shops, and the delicious waffles of Brussels, with, um, which rival those of Liège, also serviced by Talis. Craft beer lovers must visit Brewery Catillon um, and Brussels Museum of La Guerre's, uh, created in 1900 and still producing today. Any Belgian station fair, don't forget to take advantage of this special deal whenever your clients travel to Belgium on their Talus. They'll enjoy free domestic local train service between Talus Belgian stations and other Belgian stations from the day before through the day after their Talus journey. Public transportation, transportation tickets can be purchased on board in the Talus Welcome Bar at no extra cost or at the station through an electronic terminal. Station to airport, Bruxelles Midi Railway Station in center, city center is 17 minutes from train by train to Brussels Airport. Here's a quick tour of other Talis stop in Belgium. Antwerp is Bergia city full of surprises. Visitors can eat in an old chapel, swim on a boat, 
walk in a harbor setting similar to New York's Hudson River, travel by horse-drawn carriage, or shop in trendy stores. Antwerp is a hub for fashion designers. Antwerp is also famous for its diamond trade with the most prestigious diamond dealers and the largest diamond exchange in the world. Liege, just 45 minutes away from Brussels and a little over two hours from Paris by Talis. Historical and cultural city on the Meuse River. For those clients looking to fully immerse themselves in the Belgian culture, recommend that they try the traditional cuisine of Liege, Liege, Liege. Uh, which includes boulettes a la legis, le meatballs, and the famous uh, waffles invented here in the 18th century. <clears throat> Every Sunday, uh, Lige uh, hosts one of the most largest markets in Europe, La Bat, with Talis high-speed rail connections. Clients can have breakfast at the Sign in Paris and then be in the Lige for market shopping by lunchtime. The Liege Gelomans station features an ultra-modern glass and steel facade, one of the most striking stations in Europe. All right, the Netherlands. So Amsterdam, full of charm, drawing visitors in with its enticing mix of culture, canals, distinctive architecture, and uh, uh, sorry, ubiquitous flowers. Ambiguous? Sorry. Art lovers will find paradise at the Rijks Museum and studies of Van Gogh, Rembrandt, and Vermeer. But there's also 50 original varied museums peppered throughout the city. You got Anne Frank's house is one of the most um, unique museums. Visit here truly touches the soul. The infamous red light district, a unique experience, to say the least. A stroll through it as well as all um, of the varied and colorful neighborhoods divided by the canals of city center is well worth the time. Thirsty visitors can cap off the day with a tasty tour of the Heineken Brewery. Be sure to tell your clients to check out the docks located on the other side of Nordzikal Canal. The NDSM is a trendy hangout with many restaurants, bars, terraces, and skate park. Access NDSM by ferry from Central Station. The journey is free and takes about 15 minutes. Public transportation. Transportation tickets can be purchased on board in the Talis Welcome Bar at no extra cost or at the station through the electronic terminal. Station to airport. Talis provides schedules at the downtown central station or at Amsterdam Schiphol located about nine miles from Amsterdam. Schiphol for short is one of the largest airports in Europe and a gateway to Asia and Latin America. Rotterdam is a dynamic port city one of the largest in the world and a great place to visit. In addition to shopping sessions, restaurant and museum visits, there's impressive skyscrapers and a bustling business district. The vibrant city surprises with its architectural diversity and modern style. It's a great place to explore on foot, especially when time to refuel with a bit of food and beverage. Rotterdam has numerous covered markets that are vast and abundant with, um, with stall after stall offering fresh food and local delicacies, grocery stores and restaurants too. And then insider tip, there are gates at the stations in Amsterdam and Rotterdam. So get customers need to keep their Talis tickets until they arrive because the gates can only be opened by using the Talis QR code on their ticket. Uh, tap the icon to take a journey through the four seasons in Amsterdam. So it was, it was a cool place with all the canals and the red light district. It was pretty funny. Me and my daughter were standing there talking one time and she was in some one of the ladies, the naked ladies. They have a little net negligees on or whatever. But the lady knocked on the window, get out of my way, because she was blocking the view for the guys. <laughs> so we got in trouble. But yeah, that was an experience. Okay. All right, almost done, almost done. Um, destination Germany. Okay, so visitors will delight in the sweet essence of Cologne, a cultural jewel of the past and present. Centerpiece of the city for architecture and history lovers is the colossal Gothic Cathedral, located as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Few structures compare to the imposing ed ed edifice that has withstood the test of time and war. Whether your clients are opera lovers or into electronic music in Cologne, they'll find a show or festival to satisfy their lyric, lyrical cravings. 
In winter, the sweet smell of orange and cinnamon rises from the seven Christmas markets located all over the city. Dusseldorf is only 25 minutes from Cologne Pytalis, famous for its fashion industry and art scene. It's divided by the Rhine River with its old town um, on the East Bank and modern commercial areas on the West. Visitors will find the latest fashion on Consolagali called Coke, taste um, the local Altavira in the city's old town, which is nicknamed the longest bar in the world, and marvel at the world-class art at one of Dusseldorf's museums. Dusseldorf Airport is the third busiest airport in Germany, served by 70 airlines, only a seven-minute train ride from Dusseldorf HP station. <clears throat> Aachen is a pleasant city to visit all year long, but it celebrates Christmas like nowhere else with its famous markets opening in November each year. Archen is also the city of Charlemagne. It took 20 years to build um, his cathedral here and also where he is buried. This religious monument contains many treasures, including an exhibition of approximately 100 works of art and famous relics shown once every seven years. It is more than likely uh, that football soccer fans know Dortmund for its famous club, Marasha Dortmund. In fact, fans are so devoted that the stadium is often called the Cathedral. Like other cities in the rural area, Duisburg has a rich industrial mining history, has reinvented itself through the years. Performing art lovers will find many options here, ranging from film production to theater. They hold one concert after another from classical to electro, so there is something for everyone. Located in the Rue Besson, Essen was once home to the country's largest coal, iron, and steel factories. Today, it is home to an industrial monument listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, the industrial complex of the Zolverin coal mine. Tap the icon to learn the journey through Cologne. And here you go. So again, these are kind of cool little flyers you can use. Where can passengers purchase public transportation tickets for their destination while on the train? The welcome bar. The welcome bar, there you go. Very good. What is the travel time between Brussels and Cologne on board the Talus? One hour and 47 minutes. Boy, I I hope you printed these and not this. I mean, are you really good at just memorize these things? <laughs> <laughs> you have to scour for this stuff. It's <laughs> not right there. I was That's like, Whoa. Yeah, very good. All right. Thank you. So, all right. Perfect. All right. So now we are on uh, Dushvan. All right. The little video. Maybe I'll play that today while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> okay. Oops. Guess I was ready to get done by now. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. All right. So aboard the Douche Bahn. If your clients are interested in visiting Germany and all the wonders of Douche Bahn, Deutschland, there's no better choice than a Douche Bon high-speed rail network. Passengers will enjoy fast, eco-friendly, no CO2 emissions, comfortable travel on board ice, um, ice trains, which provide easy direct access to explore Germany as well as its neighboring countries. At speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, DB covers more than 20,740 miles on railway, operates more than 5,700 5, stations within Germany, including many airport stations. Popular domestic routes like Berlin Munich are well served with ice sprinter service running six times daily with a journey time of 3.55 hours. 3.55, three hours and 55 minutes, sorry. 
whatever that is, high speed connections between Germany and its neighbors. Here's a sampling of Deutsche Bahn trains and journey times connecting Germany with the rest of Europe. So again, yes, if you want to take a picture of this, so when it asks us our questions, so you got all this ICE International, Frankfurt, Hamburg, Berlin, TGV ICE, um, Frankfurt to Paris, you got the Euro trains, connects Germany, Austria, and Italy, the Express, Italy to Germany through Switzerland. This one connects Austria, Hungary, and Germany. You have the night trains, overnight service with sleepers and co co coaches are available to Italy, Hungary, Croatia, and Russia. Tap the icon for the route and timetables. There you go. Um, B also provides local and regional travel by connecting smaller cities, rural areas in Germany with a dense network of routes and departures at regular intervals. Duschbahn continues to employ high standards in hygiene and cleanliness with additional cleaning personnel and new cleaning concepts to ensure, pa ensure passenger safety on trains and at stations during the pandemic. In this chapter, you'll learn about the DB services as well as magical cities that are waiting for your clients to explore on the Duschbahn rail network. Welcome aboard. It, it's pronounced Deutsche. Deutsche? Okay, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, DB covers more than 20,740 miles of railway and operates more than how many stations within Germany? Anybody know? Right below the 6,000. Right at it. Yeah. Yay, very good. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Service and amenities. So how what's it how is it pronounced? Deutsche. Deutsche Bahn? Yep. Deutsche Bahn. Okay, there are two booking costs available on Deutsche Bahn. First class offers spacious, comfortable seats with unlimited free Wi-Fi food and beverages served at the seat, free newspapers and magazines, dedicated quiet areas for work and relaxation. First class travelers also enjoy access to DB lounges, which are located in 15 major stations across the country. Seat reservation is included with all first class tickets. Second class are optimal for families and provide as they provide dedicated family areas, entertainment for kids, free Wi-Fi, limited data use, available for all ICE trains. ICE trains include digital ICE portal with journey um, info and free entertainment, English and German, dedicated luggage racks to use with no need for reservations and space for a bike transport through a bike space reservation, as though a bike space reservation is required. Um, DB Navigator app, have your clients download the DB app for real-time information, up-to-date departure and arrival times, coach sequence and self-check-in when available. The app is available in both German and English. During the pandemic, the Bon de DB Navigator passenger capacity displays Display helps customers avoid crowded trains. Onboard dining, sit down meals are available at the onboard restaurants with breakfast, lunch, and dinner service featuring organic fair trade certified options, popular German dishes, premium wines, wide range of snacks and drinks is always available at the onboard bistros, which offer self-service and bar tables to relax around. Please note that dining and service options have been restricted due to the pandemic. Uh, stations, the following service uh, services are commonly provided at DB stations throughout the country. Free Wi-Fi for 30 minutes at more than 125 stations. DB Travel Center provides help and information to passengers. Station lockers allow travelers to explore the station and the city within their uh, with their hands free. Mobility service helps disabled customers with boarding, changing, and alighting from trains. A wide range of food and beverage options. Call a bike. Flex, uh, flexible bike sharing system provides access to 15,000 bike rentals in more than 50 German cities. Flinkster, Germany's largest car sharing system, provides access to 4,000 cars in over 140 German cities. In addition, DB lounges are available at 15 major stations throughout Germany, providing free Wi-Fi, free hot and cold non-alcoholic beverages, newspapers, magazines, and info screens for first-class passengers. 
DB lounges are available to first class passengers at 15 major stations throughout Germany, offering which of the following services? Correct. All the above. All right, tickets and reservations. So there's a wide range of fares will suit every client's needs and budget. So you have the Super Saver Fare, pretty me. Valid on long distance trains, linked to specific trains, use of local public transport. Um, also possible, um, is also possible if specified at the time of booking. No city ticket included. 25% discount with the bond card 25 or bond card 50. And it is non-refundable, okay? The flexible fare, not train specific. Tr tickets are not linked to a specific train. No cancellation fee before the first day of validity. Journey intermissions possible within the period of validity. 25% discount with the bond card 25 and 50% discount with the bond card 50. Cancellation fee, the Euro 17.5 for regional trains and Euro 19 for long distance trains from the first day of validity. Child fares up to um, children up to six years um, of age travel for free. Uh, children six to 14 travel for free if accompanied by a parent or a grandparent. Age must be stated on the ticket, otherwise they will pay 50% of the regular ticket price. Reservations in Germany, uh, passengers can travel on a train even if all the seats are already taken. This may be the case during peak travel times like Friday afternoon or Sunday evening. So it's recommended that you reserve a seat for your clients when you book their ticket. For long distance trains, you can make the reservation at time of booking the travel ticket. Remember um, the booking the travel ticket. Remember all first class tickets include a seat reservation. You can also advise your clients that they have that they may reserve seats on some regional trains using station ticket machines. Please note DB has established safety procedures for the time of the pandemic to ensure social distancing. DB aims to not exceed 50% of any train's passengers' capacity, therefore, the number of reservable seats have been restricted. Select the type of fare that includes a city ticket, free public transportation in 120 cities, and is refundable with the DB voucher. But the flexible? It's a, I think it's a saver fare. Is it saver? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Magic City St Station stops. Bremen Station was built between 1886 and 1891 following plans by Hubert Steer, with sculptures by Diedrich Samuel Krop and Carl Dottmeyer. While the station has undergone several updates and renovations during the past 130 years, its basic outline still resembles the original 1880s building. The station hall itself was thoroughly renovated in the late 1990s and early 2000, merging the two formerly separated passenger tunnels into single concourse. Since 1973, it is protected by the Monument Protection Act, Every day, the station provides thousands of travelers with services related to travel, train travel. The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city sightseeing highlights. Bremen is a compact city that beautifully weaves together in history, culture, and lifestyle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the historical market flats uh, square and surrounding streets are the city's beating heart. The stone um, Roland statue of the square stands facing St. Peter's uh, Cathedral as a symbol of independence and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site alongside the magnificent town hall. Just a stone's throw away, um, the famous town's musicians of Bremen have been enshrined in bronze in their very own statue. You have Cologne. Cologne Main Station is one of the very few buildings designed in the style of German post-war modernism. 1959, it replaced the old railway station, which has been destroyed during World War II. The new station building, with its distinctive bowl-shaped roof and its high glass wall facing the station square, features direct stair access to Cologne Cathedral and the grand pedestrian platform surrounding it. Cologne Main Station is today one of Germany's five most frequent railway stations every day it provides services to roughly 280,000 travelers 
The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Cologne Cathedral is undoubtedly the center attraction of the city. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and world-class religious edifice landmark and hub of this metropolis on the Rhine. Cologne is a modern, lively place, especially during the world-famous Cologne Carnival, where people celebrate, sing, and dance in the pubs and bars around the Ap Alter Mar Na Market and Hugh Market Squares. The city also boasts a thriving music and art scene with places like the Musical Dome, Walrath Richards Museum, and the Ludwig Museum, which it works with by with its works by Picasso, Warhol, and Lichtenstein. <clears throat> All right, Magic City Station stops. So you have Dresden. Um, Dresden Main Station is a rare hybrid of terminal and through station with rich history dating back to 1892, almost a nilly, a nilly, I can't even pronounce that. You know what that means. A nilly hated, <laughs> how do you pronounce that? During the second war. Okay, sorry. The station has regained its significance as an important European railway hub. A flood in 2002, unfortunately, resulted in the necessity of another complete renovation. But since then, the station has recovered its historical charm while employing uh, modern technology and functionality. Every day, the station provides services to roughly 60,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Dresden is famed not only for its three major landmarks, the Baroque Zwinger Palace, Semper Opera, uh, Opera House, and the Church of Our Lady but also the Brewer's Terrace and the Royal Palace, the Elb Castles and the Lostris Hillside, the exclusive villas of the Blaswitz Borough, the Garden City of Halora, and of course the 12 Dresden State Art Collections. Among these, your clients will encounter treasures such as Raphael's, the Sistan Madonna, and the Green Vault, the world's largest treasure chamber. Um, Dusseldorf, Following its openings in 1891, Dusseldorf Central Station soon proved to be too small for the high number of travelers. So beginning in 1932, the station was converted into the larger Dusseldorf Main Station. Station sustained considerable damage during World War II and restorations were not completed until 1959. But the station's original outer shape with its highly distinctive brick facade, natural stone elements have remained unchanged to this day um, the heart of the building is the clock tower, originally used as a water tower to fill steam locomotives. Dusseldorf's main station is now one of Germany's 10 most frequented railway stations every day. It provides service to roughly 250,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is central station central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Dusseldorf is the fashion capital of Germany with more than 800 showrooms presenting the latest designer and um, culture, culture creations. The famous Konoslali, um, meanwhile, is lined with exclusive boutiques. Shoppers are known to succumb to temptation in the name of the fashion here. Same sentiment is felt in Karlstad, an idyllic uh, borough full of antique shops, galleries, and art dealers. Then there's the old town with its laid back vibe and its abundance of pubs, clubs, and bars that have earned its nickname, the longest bar in the world. <clears throat> All right, Frankfurt uh, main station opened in August 18, 1888, 18, 18, 18, 18, wow. Even the Frankfurt was known as Germany's central railway hub. Station is in, um, in its current form is the result of the railways industry steady growth. Serves as one of do as you said, monumental representation, representative uh, buildings. Even after numerous extensive restorations, the station retains its original architecture splendor and gives travelers a good idea of how it might have looked like over 130 years ago. Frankfurt Main Station is Germany's second most frequented railway station. Every day it provides services to roughly 450,000 travelers, the DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's 
sightseeing highlights. Frankfurt is a pretty modern city home to businesses, skyscrapers, and Europe's third largest airport, all of which are state-of-the-art. City is always a little ahead of its time, but like to keep records of it, too, as it boasts an unrivaled wealth of museums. The Museum Mile is a must-see with magnificent Stadel Museum, one of Germany's prominent art museums situated at its heart. You have Hamburg. Uh, main station owes its iconic appearance to a competition won by the Berlin architecture Heinrich Reinhardt and George Songenberg in 1900s. Two grand stone reliefs showing both Hamburg's and Prussia's coat of arms were placed on the northern front wall to symbolize the Prussian Railway Administration's responsibility for the station's construction. Trying to protect the station during World War II, authorities built a covered wooden scaffolding for concealment. These attempts, however, proved to be ineffective as bombs had damaged the station considerably by 1943. Initially, the old building was only repaired as an, in a provisional manner, but a profound restoration occurred in the 1970s. Hamburg Main Station is now one of Germany's most frequently railway stations. Every day it provides services to more than 450,000 travelers. The DB Informational Desk is the station's central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Um, Hamburg, the maritime capital of the north, is the best experienced um, with a boat trip around the charming seafaring hub. Also, not to be missed, is a stroll through Old Town. Beautiful angler uh, buildings, 17th century townhouses, original restaurants, and bars. Um, the Spike Sart District is Hoppen City Inner City Development Project, is typical of Hamburg and has been named the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wow. Which is the word in German for German. Perfect. Thank you, Linda. All right, yeah. another stop. Leipzig. More than 100 years ago, on December 4th, 1915, Leipzig main station saw its festive opening, roughly 275,000 square feet, one of Europe's largest terminal stations. In 1944, bombs weighing 46.2 tons hit the Western Hall, which led to the destruction of a large parts of the Western building, but the Eastern Hall remained largely intact. Station has since been restored to its original state, but repairs were not completed until 1965. Every day, the station provides services to roughly 120,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to trade travel, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Leipzig is known as the city of heroes due to the many great musicians, Kappelmeister and composers who are arguably more popular and more prominent here than anywhere else in the world. The city is home to the St. Thomas Choir, one of the world's old, oldest boys' choirs. But the Gewandas um, Orchestra and Leipzig Opera, one of the Europe's oldest opera venues, have also set the bar high as landmarks. Second to none are the city's famous virtuosos, Johann Sebastian Bach, the famous cantor of the St. Thomas Choir, as well as Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi, Robert Schumann and Leipzig-born composer Richard Wagner. And then you have Munich. Um, Munich's main station is the Bavarian capital central railway station. The station has been rebuilt multiple times into modern masterpiece with no trace of its historical elements. Two regional railway stations, Stonberg Station and Hotzkörner Station are situated right next to it, making the entire complex Germany's largest railway station. Every day, the station provides services to roughly 450,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to railway journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Munich boasts one of the mo country's most beautiful squares, Marin plots at the heart. <laughs> Thank you. Um, heart of the city and home to old and new town halls. Famous town hall Glockenspiel is as much a part of the city's identity as the Hofra House Fear Hall or the iconic Church of Our Lady. With its green domed crested towers, browsing the stalls of Victor Lion Market is a feast of the senses with the luxury shopping boulevards such as Ludwig Strauss or Maximilian Strauss are designed for those with an appreciation for the finer things in life. <gasps> 
All right. And then we have Nuremberg Station, uh, Fransonian's uh, biggest railway station, one of the world's largest through um, largest through stations. There is actually no other through station in Europe with more railroad tracks. The original station was built in neo-Gothic style, but was reconstructed as a predominantly neo-Baroque building in 1900. It is most recognizable feature is its elaborate Crenshaw shell limestone facade. The hall, which now houses the travel center, was built in 1904-1905 in the style of Art Nouveau and is one of the few areas of the station which survived the Second World War. Every day, the station provides services to roughly 180,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is a station central hub for information related to rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Nuremberg has reflected German history since the Middle Ages. To this day, the city skyline is still dominated by the castle, a mighty fortress built around 1140 during the reign of Emperor Conrad III. Nuremberg's historical mile ends or begins at the castle and features ornately decorated churches, elaborate fountains, and the Churcherslas Museum. Stuttgart, main station, situated directly in the city center, nestled between the Swabian uh, capital's characteristic green hillsides. <laughs> the station was damaged significantly during multiple air raids in World War II. Following the completion of its reconstruction in 1987, Stuttgart main station has become a cultural memorial of extraordinary significance. Its distinctive clock tower displaying the Mercedes-Benz style is one of Stuttgart's most recognizable landmarks. Stuttgart main station is also at the core of the current large scale railway and urban development project called Stuttgart 21. A new underground station with eight uh, platforms is being built to connect with a new stretch of railway heading towards Ulm. The historic Botsbal station building will remain. Every day, the station provides services to roughly 250,000 travelers. The DB Information Desk is the station's central hub for information related to all rail journeys, as well as the city's sightseeing highlights. Automotive history comes to life in Stuttgart. The Mercedes-Benz Museum here is the only museum in the world to present the history of the automotive industry from start to finish. Uh, motoring legends are also featured in Porsche Museum and every March classic car enthusiasts from around the world descend on Stuttgart for Retro Classics Germany's Best Loved Motor Show. Congratulations, you've now completed this module and we only have a couple more left. All right, Lyria. Watch the quick video. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. So welcome, uh, TGV Lyria, trans transnational high speed rail line connecting major cities in France and Switzerland. Operated jointly by France and Switzerland, the train has comfortable seats, beautiful scenery along the way, direct access to the city center. It is time saving and convenient. With direct journeys, Laria passengers do not need to connect to other meanings of transportation, and they can start a wonderful journey immediately after getting up the train. 
So the network for direct international journeys between France and Switzerland. Okay, so you have here Paris to Geneva, Paris to Lausanne, Paris, Basel, Zurich, and then Marseille to Geneva. Okay, with the stops. Uh, the Lyria reaches a maximum speed of 320 kilometers, makes these four journeys in a duration of between three and four hours. All right, and again, here's a picture a map of the rail. Um, is a transcendental high-speed train connecting major cities in which two countries? France and Switzerland. Very good. All right, the network connects major cities in France and Switzerland with direct journeys, um, including Paris, which is the French capital, Marcel, major city in Southern France, Switzerland, Spassel, Zurich, Geneva, Lausanne, uh, Bern, with one change, et cetera. Allowing passengers to easily travel between France and Switzerland, the direct service between Marcel and Geneva is a route only operated in the summer. All right, so look here in case we have a question on one of these. How long is the trip between Paris and Basel? Three hours and four minutes. Thank you. All right. Uh, TGV Lyria is equipped with clean, tidy compartment environment, spacious and comfortable seats. The whole car provides free Wi-Fi, power sockets, provides three levels of compartment service, second class standard car name standard, First class standard car, standard one era, and the first class business car, business one era. The fare of the standard, second class standard carriage is the cheapest. Each row of the carriage has four seats arranged in a two by two <clears throat> format. The seats are spacious and comfortable. Passengers can go to the dining carriage to buy meals, snacks, and drinks. The standard one era, first class standard, have more spacious and comfortable seats. There are three seats in each row of the carriage arranged in a two plus one format, providing plenty of leg room. Passengers can go to the dining carriages to buy a meal, snacks, and drinks. Passengers holding a first class standard car ticket can get the dedicated lounge at the Paris Lyon train station for free. And then the first class business um, class carriages have fixed fare. Um, per destination, whatever the travel and booking date, and provide VIP style service. Each row of the cars also has a total of three seats arranged in a two plus one manner, exclusive silent cars, free welcome drinks, hot towels for passengers, delivery service, including hot meals with French chef Michel, M Miguel Roth signature, and unlimited drinks. Lyria passengers holding first class business cars can also enter the dedicated lounge Salon Grand Voyager at the train station at Paris Gare de Lyon, Lyon, Lyon Parto, and Marcel Saint Charles, connected with the summer route Marcel Geneva for free. Tap the icon to see the seating charts. Okay, there you go. All right, next. Which carriage class has the highest fares and provide the VIP services? The business, first class business. There you go. And discounts, everybody loves discounts, right? Lyria discounts uh, or tickets can be booked four months in advance. Generally, the earlier book, the cheaper the fare. Child discount free of charge. Children under four traveling for free with an adult ticket holder if you do not book a seat for them. Baby pass fare guarantees a seat for your child aged under four. A fixed fare for the travel class with complete flexibility. And then children four to 11 traveling with adult ticket holders can enjoy a 30% systematic reduction on the adult fare with the same conditions, complete, partial, or no flexibility. In addition to the age discount, PGV Lyria provides three types of fares in accordance with terms of return and exchange, non-flexible ticket, semi-flexible ticket, full fare ticket. The fare of non-flexible ticket is cheap, but it cannot be refunded or exchanged. The fare of the semi-flexible ticket is reasonable and can be refunded and exchanged. 
under the specified conditions. Full fare ticket have the highest fares and can be refunded without paying. TGI Lyria tickets provide an electronic ticket issuance method and passengers only need to print the ticket before boarding. Tap here for prices and services. So again, if you wanna print that out, have it in your file, et cetera. Otherwise you can always come back here. <clears throat> Recommended itineraries. All right. So the itineraries for reference only, you can pair it with the point to point ticket. At the same time, you can customize, modify or extend or shorten the itinerary according to your needs and preferences. So Paris to Zurich, classic journey starts from the romantic capital of Paris. Upon arrival in Paris, travelers can explore city's landmarks. When visiting Paris for the first time, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre are not to be missed. Passengers can take a cruise on the Seine River or go to the Champs-Élysées for a fashionable shopping trip. Bid farewell to Paris, Passengers can take the Lyria from Paris to Zurich, approximately four hours one way. Walking out of the train station, you have arrived in the center of Zurich. Travelers can first go to the hotel next to the train station, check in first, store their luggage, and then go to Bonnestras next to the train station to enjoy shopping. Travelers can also easily climb the Lindenhof, overlooking the city scenery of Zurich. Those who like art must not miss Zurich's fifth district. The industrial relics in the Western district of Zurich have been transformed into a leisure and cultural district, integrating food, art, culture, shopping, and contemporary architecture under the creative transformation of artists. Paris Basel cultural journey starts from Paris, which is a full itinerary atmosphere. Arriving in Paris, city landmarks, not very attractive are not very attractive. Travelers can go to the left bank of the sign. Take a look. Flora Cafe, Shakespeare Company Bookstore are all check-in destinations that culture lovers cannot miss. If you want to experience a slow living culture of Parisians, this green Luxembourg Gardens is a good choice. This is the first choice for residents of Paris's left bank for picnics, leisure, and jogging. Travelers can also choose to explore the youngest new district in Paris, Montmartre, and experience another meaning of Parisian culture. Here, travelers can experience the vitality of artistic creation, even the nightlife culture that is intoxicating. Farewell to Paris. Passengers can take the Lyria from Paris to Basel, uh, three hours one way. Lyria can reach the city center directly and reduce unnecessary airport traffic connections. This is one of the reasons that the Lyria is worth recommending. You have the Fine Arts Museum, Basel. It's perfect combination of art and architecture culture. It will surely make culture lovers linger. Museum Tingli is like a mechanical paradise, a collection of crazy whimsical institutional creations. If you have time, you can visit the Tingli Fountain, which is a fountain of joy with a childlike innocence and is definitely one of the important landmarks of Basel culture. Paris to Geneva, three hours and eight minutes from Paris, uh, Gard Gardilion. Located on Lake Geneva, the city of Geneva is one of the most frequently visited international tourist destinations. There is no easier way to travel there than with Lyria, 409 kilometers apart. Geneva is only three hours, eight minutes from Paris, Gare de Lyon, thanks to Lyria, which covers the distance at a speed of 320 kilometers. From city center to city center, Lyria provides the fastest, most comfortable transportation from Paris to Geneva. <clears throat> Your TGV Lyria uh, leaves Paris, Gare de Lyon, in the 12th district in the eastern part of Paris. You um, you alight at Geneva, um, Cornavin Corn Station, right in the heart of the Swiss city. With Lyria, you can make the best use of your time between Paris and Geneva by relaxing and being productive, and you enjoy a travel experience with no compromises. It is a smooth journey without the convenience of connections with no queuing. And then Paris, Lausanne, uh, three hours, 41 minutes from Paris, Gare de Lyon, 413 kilometers apart. Lausanne is only three hours and 41 minutes from Paris, Gare de Lyon, thanks to Lyria, which covers the distance at a speed of 320 kilometers. From city center, city center, Lyria provides the fastest, most comfortable transportation from Paris to Lausanne. Terre Lyria leaves Paris, Gare de Lyon in the 12th district in the eastern part of Paris. You alight at Lausanne Station, right in the heart of the Swiss city. 
Uh, Lyria, you can make the best use of your time between Paris and Lausanne by relaxing and being productive, particularly thanks to the free Wi-Fi on board. Smooth journey without inconvenience of connections and with no queuing. Yay, we've completed that one. How many more? How many more? How many more? Four more. Ugh. All right, let's finish this up, guys. Okay, London Northeastern Railway, one of UK's leading long-distance train operators, modern and convenient services linking London to Northeast England and Scotland. Taking over Virgin Trans Trains East Coast in 2018, Linear is well on track towards the mission of changing the face of train travel by creating a service loved <clears throat> by passengers, staff, and communities they serve. Operating on the East Coast mainland, Lanier calls at more than 50 stations across 936 miles from London to Petersburg, East Midlands, Leeds, York, Newcastle, Edinburgh, and beyond to Aberdeen, Inverness, and Glasgow. Gearing up for the future, Lanier introduced a fleet of 65 modern high-tech train, high trains called Azuma in May of 2019, thereby revolutionary revolution revolutionizing train travel between London and Scotland. Not only are new direct destinations like Lincoln and Harrogate now available, but also the service and amenities provided by new trains provide East Coast travelers with a faster, quieter, and more comfortable experience. Built using Japanese bullet train technology, Azuma trains travel between London, Leeds, New York, Newcastle, and Edinburgh at speeds up to 125 miles and have been designed to utilize an eco-friendly uh, bi-mode diesel electronic system, cutting harmful emissions by 90% compared to previous diesel-only high um, diesel only high speed trains. Here's a timetable of the traveled routes. Again, you can take a picture. Hop aboard to discover what makes Linear a leading rail service uh, to the UK. Take a peek at some of the picturesque popular station stops your clients can visit from London to Scotland. So again, here you go. I'm on a training. Okay, Um. Well, what time can you come down? Come down as soon as you can. Are, are you at the okay. office? No, not this long. Okay, bye. Bye. Sorry. Okay. All right, Azuma trains were built utilizing which bullet train technology? Japanese. Very good. All right, Linear's first class is about luxury and passengers will enjoy many comforts while relaxing in modern spacious trains. Ergonomic reclining seats, generous legroom, free Wi-Fi that's fast and reliable, power sockets, USB port at every seat, complimentary food and drinks served at seat subject to availability. Sit back and get comfy, ready for the delicious complimentary meal or snack brought straight to your seat. Whether you're traveling on the weekend or during the week, uh, you'll be offered complimentary food and drink from their deli dish um, or dine menu, depending on the service you're traveling on and subject to availability. All Linear's on board menus offer you locally sourced food and drink, including alcoholic tipples from a long linear train line. All right, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Um, make sure your first class clients visit the well-appointed relaxing first class lounges at Edinburgh, Waverley, Berwick, Upon Tweed, Darlington, Newcastle, York, Leeds, Wakefield, Westgate, Lancaster, and D London's King's Cross. Linear standard experience is anything but standard with improved legroom, extra seven um, centimeters over legacy fleet. Extensive selection of food and drinks at the Let's Eat Car um, Cafe Bar, enhanced free Wi-Fi, power sockets at every seat, quieter coach for those passengers looking to truly disconnect. And then here's the thing on first class and standard. All right, travel with confidence, health and wellness of passengers on, and staff and Linear's first priority Kind of fully committed to providing safe journeys for passengers by implementing the highest cleaning standards and following social distancing guidelines. Tap the info icon on the page to learn more. So, quick little video. We're keeping you safe when you travel with us. The safety of our customers and our people always comes first. We're monitoring the latest health developments and continue to review our measures. We've enhanced our cleaning on our trains and in our stations. 
Specialist teams are using superior sustainable disinfectant products and high-grade equipment and are working around the clock. We've um, increased that frequency of cleaning across our outreach. We've also introduced a um, two-stage disinfectant process. We are obviously wiping down all of our customer touch points. Following this, we've introduced a system called fogging, which then sprays disinfectants directly onto our hard surfaces, killing the viruses and bacteria. Dedicated hosts are ensuring our station's toilets are clean to the highest standards. On our trains, all surfaces and toilets are constantly cleaned during every journey. Our onboard ventilation systems are ensuring a continuing supply of fresh air. Complimentary hand sanitizers and disinfectant wipes are also available. And additional deep cleaning is taking place when trains are at a stand. Your safety and well-being will always be our priority. For more information, visit lnr.co.uk. back to this we go all right and then this is just information again for you all right so booking system automatic select social distancing seating to ensure safe number onboard ventilation system passengers can select seat preference high back seats reduce transmission air droplets between passengers services and toilets clean throughout the journey additional deep cleaning passengers traveling as a household or in bubbles, maybe sitting together and maintain a safe distance. Okay, um, next. Okay, the majority of the linear services now are booked in on the new Azuma fleet and reservations is required for every linear ticket. Each car uses digital reservation system to show which seats have been reserved, allowing passengers to find their seats quicker than ever before. Currently, the booking system will automatically allocate a social distancing seat for all customers. Uh, from families to groups to professional sightseers, Linear offers a range of ticketing options you can book with Rail Europe. With Linear Family Return Ticket, up to two adults and four children can travel in one great fixed price. For extended families or groups traveling together, group rates for nine or more passengers are available via Rail Europe. Clients staying over in London, add on a tube card or London travel card for discounts and access to some of the capital's most popular attractions. And then Brit Rail Pass also incorporate linear routes into an overall Britain itinerary by booking a Brit Rail Pass for your clients, which gives them the ability to travel across the entire national rail network of Great Britain. Brit Rail uh, Pass is valid for travel in England, Wales, and Scotland with flexible and consecutive durations. Please note, if you are booking a Brit Rail Pass for your clients, you will soon be able to make a seat reservation before boarding through Easy Rail. Which of the following statements is not true about linear services? Reservations are mandatory. Group rates are available. Travelers can find listen, are not are mandatory. Travelers can find seats. Wi-Fi. The wife passenger. Oh, they have to pay. Yeah, they don't have to pay, right? Thank you. All right, London and Leeds. Linear trains arrive and depart at London's King Cross Station, located to the north of the bustling West End. Capital city and its historical cultural landmarks, obvious draws for re legions of travelers. So why not help your clients discover some of the off-beaten path treasures before they embark their linear train for points north? Uh, so you have world-famous landmarks, huge city center parks, this is the epicenter of where it all happens. Your clients will feel its intoxicating cosmopolitan buzz as soon as they set foot on the platform. Click here for more fun and different things to do in London. Again, you can save that for later. London to Leeds, two hours and 15 minutes. Leeds has been called the Knights, Bur Knights Bridge of the North, just not quite as expensive. Leeds does offer enough chic shopping options to satisfy the most demand demanding retail therapists. Your clients could also take in test cricket at Headling Ling, enjoy the abundant nightlife, or gaze at the sweeping vistas of the nearby Pennines. Leeds is also home to the biggest city parks in Europe, from fountains and Victorian architecture to lakeside cafe tennis courts. This park provides a perfect escape from city life to locals and visitors alike. Click here for more things to do in Leeds. So let me go without clicking on it. Yeah, okay. Historical cities, London to York, two hours and four minutes. It runs trains between York and London than any other operator, as well as regular trains to Newcastle, Glasgow, and Edinburgh, and regional connections across Yorkshire. Located about halfway on the journey between London and Edinburgh, a stop in New York in York means a step back into history. 
From Roman settlement to Viking invasion to the Wars of the Roses, this ancient walled city has witnessed much of England's past and holds a special lure to today's visitors and magnificent historical buildings like York Minster. This Gothic masterpiece is so old, the last stone was laid in the 1400s. Ambling through the shambles is another wonderful walk into the past with its winding medieval cobblestones lined with crooked buildings, which today house quirky and quaint boutiques and cafes. Click here for more things to do. <clears throat> Lincoln, London to Lincoln, one hour and 55 minutes. Charming little corner of um, England. History buffs will be a struck by one of the most famous documents in the world. Deep within the walls of Lincoln Castle lies one of our only four remaining copies of Magna Carta, cornerstone of modern law. Visitors uh, also can't miss the soaring Gothic spires of Lincoln Cathedral jutting skyward from the medieval town center. They may even recognize the impressive structure from Hollywood movies like Da Vinci Code. Click here for more things to do. And then Durham, two hours and 52 minutes. Charming city of Durham is a hidden gem. Uh, tucked between York and Newcastle, built on a hill, looped by the River Ware. The stunning Durham, Dunham, Durham Cast Cathedral sorry, sits impressively atop the mound, like something straight out of a Harry Potter film. In fact, the cloisters of the cathedral were used in the Harry, Potty, Harry Potter series as part of Hogwarts. Durham, with its cobblestone alleys and fairy tale setting, provides a perfect historical contrast to the modern cultural allure, waiting a 10 minute train ride to Newcastle. And then uh, Berwick upon Tweed, uh, three hours and 34 minutes, another hidden gem on the East Coast mainland nestled just 2.5 miles south of the Scottish border on the sea, constructed in 1558, the Elizabethan uh, walls um, originally built to keep the Scots from raiding the city still stand today. A must do from the beautiful station stop in the visit of Linden's Far um, with its ancient castles and abbeys. Visitors can here can follow the footsteps of ancient monks, Vikings and pilgrims by crossing the causeway to the Holy Island for stunning views of the coastline. And then Edinburgh, London to Edinburgh, four hours and 16 minutes. Edinburgh um, Waverley is the second largest railway station in the UK, serves as a local traffic hub, offering train services to Glasgow, Aberdeen, and Inverness. Edinburgh is a cosmopolitan city built on a series of extinct volcanoes as evidenced by jagged rock formations such as Carlton Hill, Arthur's Seat, and Craggy Mount, upon which the formidable Edinburgh Castle sits. Royalty followers will also love a visit to Ho Holyrood, Palace and its gorgeous gardens. Aside from the world famous festival and fringe events and the pulsing nightlife of the Royal Mile, the city offers fantastic views, charming neighborhoods like Stockton and Leith, an acclaimed culinary scene, wild surrounding countryside and boundless creative art experiences. Then you have Aberdeen, click here for more things to do. Aberdeen and London, seven hours and 24 minutes, lovingly known as the Granite City, thanks to its sparkling granite architecture. Um, Aberdeen is Scotland's third largest city, vibrant city surrounded by 165, um, 165 mile of outstanding coastline, home to UK's largest national park, Con Gorms. Your clients can explore culture at the newly reopened Aberdeen Art Gallery, experience unique event, discover royal connections, visit Fairy Tale Castle, one that inspired Walt Disney himself. Be inspired by the film, famous locations, even bag a Scottish Munro. Click here for more information on what to do. And then Inverness to London, um, northernmost destination from our gateway to the Southern Highlands, um, Scottish Highlands. Plenty of reasons to visit, spectacular highland scenery, famous salmon fishing, maybe even an opportunity to hunt for the elusive monster at nearby Loch Ness. Highlands are known for their rugged mountains, um, stunning lochs, Inverness also provides culture, fine dining, and chance to retain some therapy. And again, more things to do. If they want to go there, definitely click on that. All right, finish that. And we're almost done, guys. Okay, France, Germany, Londonburg. All right, if your clients are interested in visiting France and Germany and all their wonders, there's no better choice than with the SNCF and do that one. 
<laughs> network. If your clients are interested in visiting France and Luxembourg, there's no doubt to jump on this between these two places. Um, and then these trains offer high-speed train service connecting cities of France, Luxembourg, and Germany. They run smoothly and silently at speeds of over 300 kilometers um, in complete safety. First and second class coaches both offer outstanding comfort for work, relaxation, and rest. What is the travel time between Paris and Frankfurt? Um, I think it's three hours and 38 minutes. I think it's the first one. You are so smart. Thank you. <laughs> You guys all thank, thank Michelle because she's really taking us through this, right? Yeah. All right. So this train offers high-speed train service connecting cities to France and Germany, runs smoothly and silently, speeds over 300 kilometers in complete safety. First, second class offers outstanding comfort, work, rest, and relaxation. Um, and so here you have the train France, Germany, and France, Luxembourg. Here, the travelers can download the app for more real-time information, up-to-date departure and arrival times, and mobile phone tickets. Um, connected services through the Wi-Fi portal bring a host of benefits to travelers. They can follow their journey, consult the remaining time, order items from the bar um, for pickup with a queue, and access content games to make them forget about the time. Onboard catering, they have meals and drinks, can be purchased at the bar coach, Redesign more user-friendly space, menu of dishes prepared by chefs, vegetarian products, organic products, and the best of the local producers. Family amenities, the trains are equipped with changing rooms for babies, infants, bottle warming options, as well as family area. Also designated space for persons who are traveling in a wheelchair. Make sure to request it when making the reservation. Navigator app from the France to Germany. The travelers can download for more information, up-to-date departure, arrival times, phone tickets, etc. It is available in both German and English. The onboard catering, again, um, sit-down meals are available on board restaurants, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, organic um, fair trade certified um, pretzels, a range of snacks, drinks, always available on board. The beach shows offer self-service and bar tables to relax. And then family amenities, um, area entertainment for kids uh, are provided in second class. Um, also designated space for persons traveling in a wheelchair. Make sure to request it at time of reservation. These trains um, offer services on board such as Wi-Fi, catering, families, amenities, etc. That is true. I can I got that one right. <laughs> All right. Popular routes from the French railway, um, and undeniably the fastest way to travel between France and Germany, also France and Luxembourg, making it an attractive alternative to flying. Reaching speeds up to 300 kilometers per hour provides, um, proudly holds a world uh, record for speed. You can reach Luxembourg in two hours and 12 minutes from Paris, and you can join directly Strasbourg, Lyon, and south of France from Luxembourg. So again, Here's the sample of how many hours it takes. Uh, while Germany can be reached in only two hours and 37 minutes from Paris, depending on where you go, Frankfurt stands at three hours and 38 minutes from Paris. How many daily round trips are there between Paris and Luxembourg? Six. Six. Very good. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. France and Germany and France Luxembourg class and services. Non-smoking designed to provide comfort and convenience for all passengers. There are two booking classes available. First class um, offers spacious seats, unlimited Wi-Fi, dedicated power sockets, abundant legroom, and larger or ergonomically designed seats, which recline electronically. First class is obvious choice for a client seeking superior comfort and amenities on board. Also options to book a solo seat for passengers seeking a journey without any disturbance and at club space, which allows you to to book two adjoining seats. Second class passengers traveling will find comfortable seating, power sockets, and free Wi-Fi. Even second class seats, most affordable option are still larger than the coach seats on an airplane. Um, booking are open between 120 and 180 days in advance and a reservation is needed to travel aboard these trains. <clears throat> Fares, book early, no flex fare, easiest way to travel. Excellent value for those traveling on a budget. Leisure fare, flexible tickets for the leisure traveler. Business fare, 
Full fare tickets offering maximum flexibility to change travel dates or get a refund. Pass holder fare available with a rail pass covering France and Germany or France and Luxembourg, depending on the route. Seat reservations. Reservations is needed to travel on board all the trains. Tickets are exchangeable and refundable under certain conditions until departure. And then tickets provide an electronic ticket issuance method. Passengers only need to print the tickets before boarding. Which fare offers excellent value for those traveling on a budget? The book early. Book early. Thank you. All right, destinations, Freiburg, three hours from Paris, everything, <clears throat> invite your clients to discover, take a stroll, cathedral, the winding alleys, friendly squares of the old town, the small streams, the bistros, and regional cuisine. Do your clients prefer nature? Take a gateway to the Black Forest where you can enjoy hiking trails and lakes. How about a family vacation? Stop by Europa Park, second most visited amusement park in Europe often voted the best amusement park in the world by the American magazine Amusement Today. Frankfurt, city of great diversity, the skyscrapers of the modern banking district, the viewing platform at the top of the main tower, 200 meters high, offers the best view of the city and its surroundings. Not far, there is the old town with its major monuments, the Roman birth and its half timbered houses, St. Paul's Church, the cathedral, and the house where the poet Goth was born among highlights. Munich is a city of many facets between open air breweries and Baroque churches, the Royal Residence and Museum District. It is not only the Carillion, the Residence and the Victor Market, Alliance Arena, the tourists from all over the world choose Munich, but also for the English Garden, the Landscape Banks and the Saar or the Park of Nymphenburg Palace. All right, Luxembourg, be captivated by a stay in Luxembourg, a cosmopolitan country in the heart of Europe. Discover a multicultural city, Grand Duchy of Luxembourg's capital and seat of many European institutions. Between traditional and modernity, let yourself be surprised by its many tourist places to visit. It's UNESCO World Heritage Monuments um, and numerous museums and squares. Plan your cultural outings with the agenda full of ideas to complete your stay festivals, expeditions, exhibitions, and theater. Nature and sport lovers discover the regions around Luxembourg City, enjoy different landscapes of the na nature parks in the Luxembourg Andrens, but also medieval castles, numerous hiking mountain, biking trails throughout the region. In the south of the country, you will discover the industrial past of the Red Rock region and its former steelworks sites. Congratulations. Do we have two more left? Bum, bum, bum. Yep. All right. How about Spain? Who are we? We go Spain private company, Spanish subsidiary of Voyagers, one of the world's leading passenger transport groups, mainly by rail. It is presented as the new high-speed train operator in Spain, which has come to popularize this means of transport with a simple and high-quality high offer at a low price. The routes are carried out on board a modern fleet of 14 Alstom Euroduplex trains of two heights to accommodate up to 509 passengers and make Origo a comfortable, easy, and fun trip. One of the main advantages of traveling with Origo is its low environmental impact, whose trains produce a carbon footprint 80 times less than an airplane and 50 times less than a car. Magic formula, simple and accessible price range, be the number one of anticipation and a la carte options. Please select which elements make up Oigo's magical formula. All, All of, of the above. above. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy, huh? Yes. It arrives in Spain to Spain with a huge impact, adding new destinations to the map. In 2021, the circulations will connect the main cities in the country, Madrid and Barcelona. In the following years, popular points will be added to the map, approaching travelers the main destinations in Spain, Valencia, Sevilla, and Malaga. Malaysia. Okay, tickets, adults, nine euros, age 14 years and above. Seating, they get their own seat. Uh, kids, five euros, three to 14, and they have an assigned seat. And then babies, zero to three are free. They will not have a seat. However, they can have a seat by adding a children ticket at the $5, five euros. 
All right, our offer here. So again, you can print this out. It has, has all the details and stuff for you. Oh, did I click wrong? Hold on. There we go. True or false? Orego, Spain uh, produced services Madrid and Barcelona. True. True. All right, again, timetable. So seven hours, nine hours. This one's going quick. <clears throat> again, another timetable. That's just a picture. <laughs> well, that was a quick one. All right, 100% complete. Woo, okay. I guess we're done. Woo, 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 woo. Congratulations, guys. Did everybody get their certificate? Yep. There's another one, that one at the bottom, but it's just a couple questions, but okay, we still well, get our certificate. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do it right here. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Overview? Well, do you want to do it? It's <laughs> um, since we got our certificate. You guys want to go through this? It's December 2021, I do believe is the answer. All right, let's do that. All right. And it's it's all about their high-speed stuff, like okay. these fancy trains. All right. So, yeah, I guess you guys, do you know the answers to this? Um, there's 126, I do believe. Look at her. So you guys, I know. read it. I went through the whole thing and I read it. I mean, it's, so but it's good. all of, it's really about all their high speed trains and okay. their routes. Look how good she is. All right. Well, so if you guys want to go through this again, you know, because we did get our certificate already. Um, I'm just going to stop. They're really fancy quickly. trains and they're yeah. fancy, fancy. Yeah. Look at that. They Which have executive business standard and premium they okay. don't have that ordinary uh not that one yeah all right did everybody uh print their certificate out again thanks michelle for taking care of us huh guys <laughs> so, yeah all right all tickets can be purchased six months in advanced how many 180 days, days. 180 yeah. days all right, and then destination Italy. So again, you guys want to find out more information? Definitely check this out. Yeah, and no, I clicked on a bunch of those things. They really have a lot of. I went into some of those. They really have a lot of stuff. The so flyers that am, they have. That yeah, you click like, on. Yeah, yeah, things like in in the leads in some of those places. Yeah, I'm uh -huh. definitely kind of taking those. Okay. Um, all right. So thank you guys. Um, appreciate it. And, um, and again, um, thank you for, you know, jumping on with us on a last minute, but again, you know, we wanted to get this done, right? Yeah, get her done. Cool. Right. So, um, again, yes. appreciate Michelle for giving us all the answers, right? <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> Spending Sunday with us. Yeah, exactly. So I got to go get my nails done. That was my daughter. So she's at the salon now. She's like, come now. I'm supposed to go at five. So now I got to rush. But uh, Linda, um, if you want, I'll call you, let you know when I'm leaving the salon and then you can meet me and we can do the laundry and go over the Christmas party stuff. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right, guys. So have a, have a great wet rest of your weekend. Um, I will not probably see you unless you're on um, Facebook. You'll see me there. Um, but I leave Tuesday night for New York. I'm going to do the Rockettes, Moulin Rouge, the bus tour. <laughs> and then I do our free MSC cruise on the 9th. Oh, so, I started looking this awesome. morning to see which cruise I want. And All right. Princess too. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Princess was really tough. The, the, they, the they, training? No, I mean, I did it. But I'm saying to try to find one to book. Because there's so many or what? No, yeah, but to try to, yeah, to choose. <laughs> I know, exactly. So I get back on the 16th. So I think we well, start enjoy. back on training on the 21st. Yeah, we'll see you back. Okay. We'll you. <laughs> Thanks, fun. appreciate it.
but keep learning guys stay plugged in you guys can go through the the certificates that we currently have you know if you're if you're bored um here's the list of all the trainings that we've done get in and you get recertified or or do ones that you haven't done i think um, i'll start royal i'll go yeah. back and start some of your royal because i yeah. missed that um jamaica i think we're going to do a jamaica again soon so you may want to wait for and do it with us um okay. hawaii is a good one um uh jamaica when was the last time we did that one i think we just yeah we just did that in august so we'll um that one's a really good one though they give away a lot a lot of good stuff okay oh. um so jamaica it's called one one love and they'll send a lot of free um uh perks and stuff invite you out we got invited out to a, a dinner and they gave away four free trips. Wow. So you never know. Okay. Marriott, make sure you do your Marriott, get your fantastic rates. Okay. And mm -hmm. let's have fun guys. All right. Okay. Love have you. Fun. As we Be say, safe. your business for yourself and not by yourself. If we don't see it at the beaches of the world, we'll see at the bank. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you. Have a good day.